Okay, welcome back to this um, presentation in which we're going through the implementation of a discrete system in MATLAB. So we've already gone through this example, um, so this very simple example where the output y of n is equal to twice the x of n. And we are, we're familiar now that basically um, what we're trying to do is solve the difference equation for a system for different values of n. That's basically all we're trying to do when we implement a discrete system in 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 any programming language, really. Okay. Um, so now we're going to take a look at this discrete system um, over here, the uh, moving averager. But in particular, we're going to focus on this second difference equation, which of course is mathematically equivalent to the first, uh, just a little bit easier to implement or a little bit more straightforward because we don't have to include as many uh, values in the equation. Um, okay, so let's switch over to MATLAB and um, we will open up our discrete system. Um, and this is from the earlier implementation, which was the so solution to this difference equation y of n is equal to 2 times x of n. So let's try to solve um, our new difference equation, which is y of n is equal to x of n plus x of n minus 1 plus x of n minus 2 plus x of n minus 3 and all of that is going to be multiplied by 0 0.25 or divided by 4 whichever you prefer. Okay so that should be it. It should be very easy to run that code now and we would get an output but the difficulty is and it's a very MATLAB specific problem this but um, there is a problem um, because we try to solve this difference equation for for this if we take a take a, think about it and we go through the first time through this loop and I'll just copy this into a into, into a paste area um, looking at this equation if we um, were to go through this the first time through the loop then n will be equal to 1 so we'll be solving y of 1 is equal to x of 1 plus x of n minus 1 will be 0 plus x of n minus 2 which will be um, sorry minus minus 1 plus x of n minus 3 which will be plus x minus 2 all multiplied by 0 0.25 now MATLAB has an issue with that MATLAB doesn't like you using an index of 0 or any negative index and we'll get an error. So I'll just click over to MATLAB and show you that we will actually get that error. So going back to MATLAB and I've updated my difference equation. Um, we'll use the value of x we had earlier on so y will be equal to my discrete system discrete oh, that's not right my discrete system there we go uh, by x. So x will be my input as usual. But I run this I'll get an error. Okay so exactly what I've said happened. We try to reference an element x0 and MATLAB is saying well the index must be positive. Uh, it must be an integer. And um, we got the error on line 4. So just opening up the function again. Um, we need to solve that issue and the way we can solve it is to use if statements to catch the problem areas. So we have a problem when n is equal to 1. So if n equals to 1, let's do something about that. If n is equal to 1, well then let's say, let's say y of n is equal to x of n um, plus, well actually we don't need to plus anything. And the reason I say that is because each of these terms here, x, well, let's think about it mathematically, x of, uh, um, well, the, let's say the, the, f the first output is, e is just simply equal to the first input multiplied by 0 0.25. Now, so I'm saying the first output will be equal to the first input multiplied by 0 0.25. Let's just go to the um, signal flow diagram again to verify that. So what I'm saying is the first output will be equal to the first input multiplied by 0 0.25. Let's just imagine a sequence of numbers. 
just put in two, two, three, two, three. So we have two values going into the system. First input will be two. Uh, now we'll have zeros all along these branches if you followed the previous um, presentations. Uh, so that 2 will be multiplied by 0 0.25 and our output will be uh, 2 by 0 0.25 so a quarter of 2 which will be um, 0.5 so our first output will be 0 0.5 which so y of, y of 0 will be equal to x of 0 by 0 0.25 likewise my second, my second output y of uh, 1 will be equal to x of 0 multiplied by 0 0.25 I'll just put the brackets around it, x of 0 multiplied by uh, 0.25 plus x of 1 all by all of this will be multiplied by 0 0.25 I, I'm getting a bit messy there but I hope you see what's happening um, now of course MATLAB has a different indexing system than the mathematical notation and I'm get confused between the two notations here. I should have square brackets there by rights. Uh, but let's switch back over to MATLAB. There we go. And so I'm hoping you see that this is a, a fair statement to say. Likewise, um, if n, sorry, I should say else if, n is equal to 2, well I know that if n is equal to 2 I'm going to have a difficult, some difficulty with this difference equation again so I'm going to put in an if statement to handle that potential problem because if n is equal to 2 then let's copy this into the paste area again let's think about the situation where n is equal to 2 will I get a diff, uh, a, a pro will I have a problem and I will because if n is equal to 2 and I just try to solve this difference equation I'd be saying y of 2 is equal to x of 2 plus x of 1 that's no problem plus x of n minus 2 which would be x of 0 plus x of n minus 3 which would be minus 1 so I'm going to have problems with that so I'm going to put in if statements to handle that problem and I also have a problem then in for when n is equal to 3 in a similar fashion. Okay, so let's just go back to MATLAB. And so back in here. So I need to put in special cases. And this is, I say, a very uh, MATLAB specific problem. Um, but the problem does arise in other programming languages, but you can handle it in a different way. Uh, so x minus 1. Okay and I will copy paste for the case when n is equal to 3 and in that case, oh I've lost that data line, that should be multiplied by 0 0.25 and this bottom one should also plus x of n minus has another term in it, x of n minus 2 so in this case, mathematically, x of n minus 3 will be 0 anyway. So I'll multiply that by 0 0.25. Okay, so it became, this um, implementation became a little bit messy because of the cases with, that we had to handle. These are the three exceptions that we, that we have to deal with. So for the cases when n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, and n is equal to 3, and I can don't have to put the brackets in around this if I want, but I, uh, but I can if I want. So let's just run the implementation of that discrete system from the command line. So y is going to be equal to that by x. So what's my outputs? Uh, 0 0.5, 1.25 and 14.75 and 16. Okay, you can verify those against maybe solving that difference equation by hand. Um, what I might do just to really test this is to use the values that I had used in an earlier presentation on for the moving average or filter and we'll see how that works. So y is equal to my discrete system x now. So again, by when I hit return, basically I am um, this is my discrete system being implemented. This function is solving the difference equation for different values of n. So let's just plot the two 
values now. So we plot x, there's x, which are you may have, you should have seen before. And I'm gonna hold on and plot y in red and hopefully I've done this right. And we see a smoothed version of the um of the signal. So the red is my output of my system and it's smoothed out all the fast transitions that were in in um that were in the um the the, the original signal. Okay. So um thanks for your attention on that and uh, I'll see you in the next presentation.